good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us tonight in our community meeting for Umar Heights and Overton Park Street Improvement Project. Uh, 2018 bond year three, uh, contract six, city project number 101452-2. Uh, my name is Megat Zaki, and I am a project manager with the city of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Work Department, Capital Delivery Team. Uh, I will be the project manager for this project during the design and construction. Uh, this, pre this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project and uh, the proposed improvement that will happening in your area, and also to get your input and comment during the design phase. In this presentation, I will talk in detail about the project overview and the scope of the work. Also, I will provide you with some information on the project schedule of this project, so you can know when we'll advertise the project, when we are going to start and complete the construction, and how long the construction will take. During the meeting, you can send your question through the chat option in WebEx. The chat button is located at the lower right side of the WebEx screen here. Uh, and uh, at the end of the meeting, I will answer all your questions. If you are joining us uh, from your phone or you cannot send your question uh, through WebEx, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question at the end of the meeting. Uh, in this project, we have uh, five streets as following. Uh, nearest Creek, Drive from Highway 377 to Linden Drive. We have also Culver Avenue from Mark's Place to Ben Rose Avenue. We have uh, Roanoke Street from Culver Avenue to Waycliffe Street. Uh, we have Overton Park Drive East from Fox Hollow to Altura Court, and we have Altura Court to uh, the intersection of Overton Park. As you can see uh, from uh, this slide, uh, here the existing situation of the street. Uh, this picture are from Marys Creek Drive, and the first picture you can see here the street is in bad condition, the asphalt is cracked, there is no curb and gutter. Also on the other side on the other side, this picture saw some of the driveway on this street uh, is in gravel or um, they have uh, gravel and sand. Also, uh, these two pictures are from Roanoke Street and Overton. Also, the same situation, the asphalt is in bad condition. Um, some cracks, some batch. Um, this is the existing condition of the streets right now. Um, now, let us talk about the proposed improvement on each street uh, separate. So, on Mary's Creek, we are going to replace the 12-inch old water line with new 12-inch water line. Also, we are replacing the existing 8-inch and 24-inch sanitary sewer line with eight with new 8-inch and 42-inch sewer line. Uh, after that, we are going to uh, construct new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Uh, at the end, we are uh, reconstructing the street with new concrete curb and gutter. On Culver Avenue and Roanoke Street, we are replacing uh, the existing old 8 inch water line with new 8 inch water line. Uh, and after that, we are uh, we are constructing new concrete driveways with 
10 foot width uh, width and 10 feet length. Also, the street uh, will get new uh, paving with new concrete curb on the butter. On Overton Park Drive East and Altura Court, we are replacing the existing uh, old 8 inch and 12 inch water lines with new 8 inch and 12 inch water lines. Uh, we are also replacing the existing 18 inch cemetery sewer with new 24 inch new sewer line. And on Altura Court, we are replacing the old 6 inch uh, old cemetery sewer line with new 8 inch sewer line on Altura Court. Also, uh, we are going to construct uh, new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Uh, at the end, the, both streets will get a new uh, paving with new concrete curb on the gutter. Uh, here in this slide, you can see the proposed improvement. So every street in this project will uh, will look like that when we finish the construction. Uh, you will have new uh, street paving with new uh, curb on the gutter and also new concrete driveways. Uh, in this slide, uh, this is the project schedule and the phases of our uh, project. So uh, we are going right now, we are in the design phase and we are going to complete this phase by next month, which is December 2020. After that, we are planning to advertise the project in January 2021 and uh, receive the bid in February 2021. The council approval for this project should be in April 2021. Uh, in this project, we have uh, gas pipe relocations, and this will be done by Atmos. So we expect uh, the relocation completion by June 2021. If everything is going well and Atmos is able to complete the relocation uh, on time, we will have another community meeting before the construction, and we will start the construction in June 2021. Uh, the construction duration uh, is one year for this project, so we expect to complete the construction in June 2022. Um, once again, uh, the construction start date uh, will depend on the relocation of the gas pipe. So hopefully, uh, Atmos can complete the relocation in June 2021. 21. After that, we'll start the construction. Uh, I hope I have covered everything in this presentation. Again, um, thank you so much for taking the time to listen and attend this meeting. Uh, here is my uh, information, my name, my phone number, and my email address. Please feel free to contact me if you have any question. Um, now this is the time to you to, uh, if you have any question, if you want to uh, give us some inputs, uh, I will be happy to hear from you. Uh, let us start uh, with a question came from the chat button, if we have. And after that, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question. Yes, I'm curious about the uh, driveways. How far, how far, uh, what do you consider the driveway from the street um, to the property? Is that 10 feet? Is it just, what's the, what's the driveway? Um, so the driveway length from the street, it will be uh, 10 feet. And the width of the driveway will be uh, 11 foot. Okay, and then, have, and then all new gutters as well, or uh, curbs, I should say. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm on the Overton Park uh, area, so just that street looks really bad right now yes sir 
Uh, also, I want to mention in case you, your driveway is uh, more than 11 feet, we are going to match the existing. Uh, what does that mean? You're going to match the existing. So if your if your driveway width is uh, 14 or 13 uh, feet, the the width of the driveway. Then you're going to do the 12 or 13 or whatever it is. Yeah, we are going to match the existing one. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Looking forward to it. Sure. Megan, there is a question in chat. Uh, what style of curbs will be installed? Uh, we have our uh, city standard uh, curb, which is uh, six inch height, and the gutter is 18 inch uh, uh, width or the width of the gutter. Um, is that answering your question? Thank you. Yes, that answers that answered the question. Um, any other question? Uh, once again, here is my information. If you want to uh, uh, take uh, a picture of this one, and um, this meeting presentation will be posted uh, on the city uh, YouTube channel. Um, again, here is my email. If you want, if you have any question, please feel free to contact me. Uh, and since we don't have any question, thank you so much for your attending and hope to start the project as soon as we can. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time.